Hi and welcome back to On the Water Flies. Today we're going to be tying a Clouser minnow. For this we're going to be using a size 6 TMC. It's going to be uh, 1x fine, 2x long. We're going to be using white thread. We're going to be using a dumbbell eye, which is basically just a dumbbell with a painted on eye on both sides of it. We're going to be using some chartreuse bucktail and some white bucktail. And on top of that, we're going to be using crystal flash. This one is rainbow pearl kind of like this coloring a little better than just regular crystal flash has a lot more sparkle and color to it in my opinion so let's go ahead and go ahead and start with some loose thread wrap or sorry go ahead and do a couple wraps of thread onto the shank of the hook lock that thread into place sorry I kinda of misplaced everything today once you have the thread locked in you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and tie in your painted dumbbell eyes Now these buggers do like to move as you can see on the video here. So you're going to do multiple, multiple wraps of thread around it. Just build up that thread base around the eyes to lock it into place. Figure eight it. Even after figure eighting it. They sometimes don't like to sit just quite right. But it's doable. Nothing has to be perfect. If you can cast it, it could still catch fish. Fish isn't looking for perfect. Just remember that. If it looks fishable, fish it. See what it does. And just build up a whole bunch of thread around these dumbbell eyes. You don't want them moving or losing them. After that, you're going to put the thread of the hook in front of the dumbbell eyes. At this point, you're going to take some white bucktail. Not a whole lot. In fact, let me even cut down on that amount. So instead of trimming these ends of the bucktail, I'm going to go ahead and kind of measure out how long I want this to be and trim off the waist ends, the butt ends, along the front. So what you're going to do is try to get these to sit on top of the fly, which I'm having a little bit of difficulty doing right now. If I'd stop poking myself in the finger with the hook. <laughs> Once you do a couple wraps in the front, you're going to go right behind the eye, do a couple more wraps. And for the white bucktail, you're going to do loosely spaced wraps down the shank of the hook and then loosely space coming back up the shank of the hook uh, we got that tight in let's go ahead and cut off that excess in the front so make sure not to accidentally snip your uh, thread at all uh, 
and just to help it lock into place, do a little bit of cleanup. Don't want to build it up too big because you still have some other material to tie in right there. So at that point, you're going to flip it over. That's where a rotating vise comes in handy. If you don't have a rotating vise, you can just go ahead and pull the hook, pull the fly out of the vise and rotate it yourself. So from here, we are going to tie in some of our crystal flash. a small grouping of it. Little goes a long way. Instead of just tying it in straight like this, we are going to fold it by folding it. Makes it just a little longer than the length of the tail that I have right now. We can trim the crystal flash afterwards kind of twist that a little bit just to get it to So once you have that tied in, we're going to be switching over to the chartreuse. So for this one, I'm kind of going to measure out about how long my current tail is on this fly and trim somewhat according to that I'll still adjust it forward some this one you want a little bit more than the white kind of pulling out some of these smaller hairs that I had in that group and I just cut here just go ahead and kind of measure that and wrap this in go ahead and cut this excess off before it comes too much hassle As you can see, I'm a little close to the eye already there. So let's just trim that back. Once you have that trimmed down, just go ahead and do that wraps, build up a nice head here, clean it up. Remember, like I said, it don't have to be pretty in order to fish it. And you go ahead and whip finish this. And as you saw there at the end there, even with all those thread wraps, those dumbbell eyes still wanted to move. So, if you want to, this is kind of the basics of this fly, just to get you started, but what you could do is add some super glue to the threads after you get it wrapped in. That'll lock it down. UV glue is great. I love using UV glue dry super quick just a shine of light so what we're going to do here on the head 
just to finish this off. Is up here on the front. We are going to be using a UV finish. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with the flow. Flow will kind of get in between those thread wraps, get down to the deer hair, the bucktail, kind of lock it a little bit more in place. In fact, we can even go over the dumbbell eyes there. And UV does provide little brushes so we can just kind of brush our little excess. Loon Outdoors, sorry, not UV glue. It's UV glue, but it's specifically done by Loon Outdoors brand that I use and just brush that in just to make sure everything stays in place once you got that brushed in go ahead and take your UV flashlight give it a zap for a little bit doesn't take very long UV glue tends to dry very quick once it gets hit by the UV light And there we go. In fact, I can't even move those dumbbell eyes now. So there we have it, the Clouser Minnow. Uh, you can use Ultra Hair as another option instead of Bucktail. Uh, I don't have Ultra Hair on hand right now. I have Bucktail, so why not? Ultra Hair gives a little bit different coloration, but classics always work bucktail is a classic and thank you for joining us today on on the water and i will see you next time